Well, if your health card is about to expire, you'll want to watch this next story closely. It turns out the province's decision to go gender neutral wasn't done in consultation with the federal government, and that means getting a passport could turn into a bit of a nightmare. When Rachel renewed her health card, she listed her gender as female. But this is how the new card came back as Ontario rolls in gender-neutral health cards. I mean, it's great for the people who don't identify as non-binary, male or female. Um, however, in my case, it doesn't, it's kind of affecting me right now. Affecting her as in potentially derailing a dream vacation. I've only ever been to Disney World. Uh, and that was when I was 11 years old. Uh, so this will be my first adult trip out of the country. And where are you planning to go? Uh, Paris and Rome in October. Here's the issue. Rachel needs a passport. She's using her birth certificate as one piece of ID and was planning to use her new health card as her second ID. They told me that because my gender isn't on my health card, they can't accept it as the single piece of ID. And because I don't have another piece of identification, my application was rejected. Rachel doesn't have a driver's license and is now scrambling to find something, anything with her gender on it, from community center applications right there to a doctor's note. I found this one on my fridge, yes. <laughs> and you saw the F so, and you were like, yes. Yes. I searched uh, the Canada Revenue website to see if any forms that I filled out and submitted have my gender on it. I've tried uh, the National Student Loan Service because I'm paying back a student loan. There's nothing there either. You find yourself in this alternate universe where you have to try to prove that you are, in fact, a woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's very odd because <laughs> I've been I've been female my whole life. So a possible explanation on why there's a breakdown between the province and the feds who issue the passports comes in this statement to City News that Ottawa was not consulted in Ontario's plans to go gender neutral. Any lessons to be learned in all of this? Um, have a secondary piece of ID before you get your passport because the two uh, levels of government right now, the federal and the provincial, aren't uh, aligning in their gender neutrality requirements. Okay, so here's what you really do need to know if you're worried that you might find yourself in the same situation as Rachel, and it comes late this afternoon from Service Ontario. When you apply for your new health card, make sure to keep that paper, a temporary card that they send you, even after your new card comes in. Service Ontario says that the passport office will, as a stopgap measure, accept that temporary card as a piece of ID because it is, it does still rather include your gender. Now, Rachel contacted us to share this story with you. If you have a story that you think needs to be told, you can get in touch with us by email, phone, or Twitter. You can also submit a tip through our website, citynews.ca.